All right, so we're going to talk about security in this yes. video. Yep. So go. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of code already written for Greater Commons yeah. that makes security actually really simple. Cool. So at the bottom of each resources.go file in each microservice, uh, at the very bottom, I've got these four lines: var jwt sec um, equals this. Sure, JSON so web J token. JSON web token security. Yeah. So this says jwt. I say you must send a, J a JSON web token in a header, the authorization header, and here's where you normally find the way to get that token. Um, after you got that, in, in, in an individual action or in the resource, you can say security JWT sec. And it, so if it's in an action, it'll require it in the action you must be logged in. If it's in the resource, then all actions must be you must be logged in to access cool. them. Yeah, so it just makes a, a, a login wall, and anything yeah. that has that, you got to be logged in to get there. Yeah, it'll automatically send back the forbidden error status uh, nice. error code if you if it's not logged if you're not logged in. Um, you can also override on a specific action. You can say no security. So that's. Uh, Every once in a while, handy like in the actual login service. Yeah. For things, something uh, you got, you must have security for almost everything because they're like changing a password and such. Yeah. But the actual login function itself has no security on it. Yeah. Um, so, it, so that's that's actually part of Goa is this JSON, JWT security thing. In addition, when you're actually in an action, when you're actually implementing this, the utils package has an auth. A uh, subfolder, yeah, which has got uh, all the code to like figure out who you're actually logged in on based cool. on the the to the JSON web token. Cool. So this ends up being uh, a, another just like the Swagger definition at the top. This is just a, another copy paste value. Throw that in there, and then mark your resources as you must be logged in to do something to this resource, Easy. or you must be logged in to do to use this specific Easy. action. Easy. And then that's it. Um. The bottom, let's see that security, uh, JWT security. So JWT security, that's just a function that you're calling from Goa. Yeah, yeah Goa's and got it, that. It just takes two things, and the first one is uh, where it's found. So yeah. you can be it, it. It supports a header, or I think it supports um, like a uh, query parameter as yeah. well. Um, so I generally prefer it as a header. Yeah. So it's not in the URL. And then a token URL is... Uh, That's the URL you would normally go to to get that JSON web token. Okay, all right, cool. Nice. So yeah, like I said, this ends up just being another one of those copy-paste into each service yeah. things. And if you don't know JWT, again, this would be a point where when you're watching these videos, like go maybe watch a couple of videos or go read a little documentation on how JWT works or not yeah. necessary to not, know. not really needed to know for greater commons. Everything yeah. related to it's yeah. already been coded. So Right. So it's kind of like black box. It, it works. Just put yeah. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's for, how you use it if yeah, you yeah. wanted to go explore if JWT wanted, a little it, bit more. But this implements all the JWT stuff. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. so so yeah, you don't don't have to know about it. Just black box. This is a black box. If you want to learn more about it, JWT is a very common way of doing yeah uh, authentication. Yeah, so it's you can find lots of resources about it on the internet. Yeah, cool, very nice. Anything else to say about it? No, and I think that uh, concludes the sta all the standard Goa stuff. Cool, and uh, yeah, um, it's a uh, five fifteen. So we usually mm -hmm. I can continue for a while. Good, let's keep going. Oh,